Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to Unit Analysis and Should You Promote of Silas, the Bishop of Flame. If I make any mistakes and call him Silas, then I'm sorry, the names are really similar. But since he's here as a Grand Hero Return, I might as well do a video on him. This review will take a look at his stats, competition, skills, allies, weaknesses, and builds. Let's begin. You'll never defeat me! The Son of Arvis commands the battlefield as the Blue Infantry Mage. Not the most unique typing, but I'm happy he's not the same as his father. You can't get powercraft if your son isn't a red mage! Julius, shut up. Sias has 36 HP, 33 attack, 30 speed, 18 defense, and 34 resistance. His HP and defense isn't the best, and his attack and speed is decent. His resistance is fantastic and works well with Glacies. The best part about his stats is his speed. With a decent speed of 30, he's not forced to run quick repulse in all of his sets. His direct competition is with loot. Both have a personal tome and both use ploys to their advantage. However, loot is better. With higher attack and slightly better speed, she deals more damage with her ploy. Not only that, loot has access to IVs and merges, whereas Sias is limited. Loot also gets plus 3 speed from a weirding tome, but she can't ploy all stats like Sias can. There's also Makaya, who's not a direct competitor, but pretty close. Their stats are very close. The most notable thing is Makaya has 2 more points of attack. But you could say that they're even. Makaya has her Thani tome, which is pretty busted. It's super effective on cavalry and armored units, which is exceptional in today's metagame. While Sias is useful with his ploys, Makaya's stats is just more useful. Sias' personal weapon is the War God's Tome. It's identical to the Fall Flame, his father's tome, but with a different name. It works well with his high resistance, so he'll be able to deploy a lot of units. It pairs well with his C skill, Speed Ploy. With this, he'll be able to deploy 3 stats at once. All those weakened stats are great for Sias because he can abuse them all. His special is Glacies, a high turn cooldown special but works exceptionally well with his high resistance. It's a good special, but I would recommend swapping in for Iceberg because it's faster. His B skill is Escape Route, a reference to him being the only unit in Thracia who retreats after being defeated. Escape Route isn't used often, but it's not a bad skill. It works very well with melee units as he can snipe the foe when he teleports over. However, it's very risky as he needs to be below 50% HP. I already went over his C skill, so there's no need to go in depth. It's useful, works well, and allows him to double or not get doubled. Since Sias is weak against green units, red tanks are perfect allies. Both Zelgius and I can take on magical and melee green units, so Sias is safe behind them. Dragons can abuse all of his ploy diva, so they'll be great allies. Sias is terribly weak to green dragons with their adaptive damage. They can take him on and be victorious. Green tanks also obliterate him. Legendary Hector with his, well, everything, and Deirdre with her high resistance won't show any mercy. My first build is pretty much just like his father's best set. Fury is a good skill overall and it helps size very well. Not only does it boost his resistance to deploy more people, the damage can help him get into escape route range for teleportation fun. He's like a blue Arvis, but without recovery ring which kinda sucks. Downsize, 33 speed isn't the best. If he can't get the speed play across, he'll be getting doubled by high tier units. His defense, while buffed by Fury, is still pretty low. The Fury damage also makes him vulnerable to getting knocked out easier. The second set uses Owl Tome for Mei. Because of Odd Res Wave adjacent ally support, it synergizes well with Owl Tomes. Fury is overall a good choice for his A-Skill and the damage helps him get into advantage range. It's decently expensive and you can replace Fury with Close Counter, but I wouldn't recommend it. Size isn't bulky enough, nor does he have the high attack to use Close Counter well. Because he replaces most of his kit here, Size can provide the ploy support and not everyone can use the Res Wave buff. His third set focuses on magic tanking. With double distance defense and block segment, he reaches 36 defense and 55 resistance, which is really good. Odd attack wave pushes his attack to 51, which helps his damage output. Turn 1 and turn 3 aren't bad enemy phase turns. And unlike even Rez Wave, Odd attack wave can be used by everyone. This skill is very expensive. Female Morgan, Odd attack wave, and distant defense are all 5 star locked. Size gets destroyed by melee units and dragons. The lack of plays hurts his team support. For final verdict, I wouldn't recommend promoting Silas. Loot is superior with a greater offensive stats, and Makai outclasses him in the metagame. Also, plays are hard to work with. You need to predict and place your units carefully to get a debuff, which most casuals don't care about. But if you don't have a strong blue magic tank, then size is a solid choice. As much praise I gave Loot and Makaya, they're both 5 star locked and it's nice to have a free option. In its tone animation, it looks amazing. Solar Bee, man! That's it for this unit analysis. I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you found this to be helpful, make sure to subscribe for more Farm Heroes content. If you did promote Silas, how did you build them? I'd love to hear in the comments. With all that, make sure you stay hydrated, folks, and have a nice day.